I don't know, but they're just so gorgeous. Can you see the flowers? The blooms are just so pretty. Ah, they're so pretty. Welcome back to another episode. Ever since spring arrived, we can't stop buying flowers. This week, we're livening up a wasted space with another flower bed and also building three flower boxes for our porch rails. One of these days, we'll learn to relax, but maybe after this project. Come along. But just a quick recap, that's Todd and I'm Rob, husbands from Georgia. Six months ago, we bought a mountain home in the North Georgia mountains. We've been spending our spare time making this place our own, with everything from bold paint choices to building raised garden beds on a slope. Tag along as we document our remodeling progress, along with everyone's favorite, our dog Wally. We'll be posting remodel updates and mountain escapades periodically. Don't forget to subscribe below and join us on the mountain. Ain't nothing needed but us feeling right Just take a chance, we got a wild ride Wait and see, you and me, we were meant to be 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 Well, in true fashion, we continue to keep making gardens and planting plants everywhere. So Todd's actually going to create three planters uh, for the rails on the deck. Uh, instead of just buying some for ourselves, we decided to use some old lumber that we had here. We only had to buy one piece of board that we cut into one foot sections. So other than that, we just had to buy some topsoil and obviously the plants. So, and what I'm going to work on is I'm going to create a, a new garden bed out of uh, beside our retaining wall because when we moved that metal contraption in the last video, <laughs> it kind of left a void area right there. So we thought, why not just plant some more plants there, give it some texture and some height and some color. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, it'll start blooming a little bit more. So follow along. My little starter garden has started growing. So we've got Cosmos, we've got Morning Glories, we've got a bunch of sunflowers that have started growing. There's my little legend that I've had to keep track of. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Lupines, foxgloves, I think I said. Uh, even some oregano and basil and chives. Uh, and that's to keep the deer out. So I've got a couple more pots. I'm going to start planting those in. Even got some citronella. And some other annuals in there. So yeah, the mosquitoes have been super awful lately. So anything we can do to, to keep the mosquitoes away is what we're going to try to do this summer. So, And also, if that wasn't enough, I'm also planted some more.
There he is. Hey, welcome to the workshop. Today's project is window boxes. Hey. I had to remember. <laughs> yeah, so check out what we're doing. So we found a bunch of scrap lumber in the garage. And, um, and so what we're gonna do is use this as the front, like this. And then we're gonna be, I'm gonna attach it so that it's flush like this. And the back is gonna be this. So I'm gonna put in some sc screws here, here and here and here. And then I'm gonna put some liquid nails in between this just to hold it together. So we've got this Gorilla waterproof patch that's um, supposed to create a rubber layer on the bottom. So I'm gonna do that once I get it all put together and spray it. Hopefully that'll seal it good enough. And put some holes in the bottom as well before I do this. And then and the other one we got was this one. I'm not sure how this is if this is gonna be the exact type of protection that we're looking for, but anyhow, so we'll see. And if you're new around here, we haven't shown you our uh, workshop yet, so yeah, it is a complete work in progress. So just don't look too closely at all the <laughs> mismatched stuff. But Todd did a good job of cleaning up in here and organizing it a little bit better than what it did look like, because we kind of just threw all the stuff in here that we didn't want in the house. Became like a catch-all area, so so we got some fun plans for this area eventually. But for now, it's um, I'm just calling it the workshop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you remember, we had that temporary raised garden bed here that the previous owners had left, so we've removed that. But we were left with this, you know, the retaining wall just kind of sticks out as like a sore thumb now. So started coming up with an idea and we thought, all right, let's buy some, some landscaping border. And so we're gonna put in a small garden bed, small flower bed, actually, right here along the base of the wall. I've actually already planted <laughs> a star jasmine here last weekend because um, we wanted something to take over this wall, so we're going to train that to go along the edge of the wall. So I've got some lantana, we've got some grasses, and a couple of other things that I bought from the other day, so I'm planning those soon.
He is silly. Oh my goodness. Say hey, Rob. Hey. We're exhausted. We planted so many plants today. And only like four hours time span. No, you didn't plant any plants. I, I did. Planted plants. You made more beds for the plants. <laughs> Enjoying our romantic citronella candlelit. <laughs> candlelit <Saturday> dinner. evening. <laughs> <clears throat> What's happening, Wally? You see stuff? Well, I certainly couldn't leave it like it was looking yesterday, so today I came back out and added some rocks that we found around the property. Good thing about living in the mountains, there are rocks literally everywhere you turn. So a quick tour of the flower bed. We actually bought this recycled rubber edging from the local hardware store. Connects together pretty easily. It's also pliable enough to. And with the rocks, ultimately we wanted to kind of look like what this adjacent flower bed looks like. Obviously those have been there for a while, so they look a lot better. But uh, over time, we're just going to keep gradually building upon this and using the rocks we find around the property. So moving on to the plants, we've got some purple fountain grass. We've got some creeping Jenny, which we love around here. Uh, let's see, we also have some ponytail grass in the back. I believe this one is creeping thyme right here. And we've also got rosemary, lantana. And yes, we did discover that rose, uh, lantana is toxic to dogs, so we're keeping that away from Wally. We've got some prairie fire grass as well. Moving on, we got some gay feather, because why not? <laughs> In the back, we've got petunias, some stone crop sedum, some Georgia blue speedwell, followed by some chamomile. And this is our um, star jasmine that I planted last week. It smells really awesome when it blooms. Uh, eventually, we're going to train this to go along the wall, so it'll kind of cover that edge a little bit better. And then we've also got lavender and another of the same prairie fire grass, the same one that was over there. We also got another lantana, different color of the one we have over here. And followed up with some phlox, some more petunias, some more creeping jenny, and another one of those grasses, because why not? And up above that bed, it's a whole other story up there. It's starting to look a bit desolate, but we've been transplanting a bunch of different cannas and other plants. Just kind of hopes that it fills in a lot better. Uh, we know those cannas are going to thrive and we'll be able to thin them out next year. But we also found some rhododendron volunteers. So we've got one, two... And then a third one over here as well. Uh, the ones we've seen around the property are pretty breathtaking, so we're hoping those do really well around here. <clears throat> and you're probably also noticing this cord running through the area. So that controls the uplighting that Todd has added around. Uh, it turns on at dusk, turns off at dawn. So eventually we need to cover that up, but we've kind of just been waiting until we get everything situated on this wall before we tackle that one. And you probably noticed the weather station too. That's just temporary for right now. We had to move it off the metal structure um, whenever we moved that down the hill last video. So whenever Todd's feeling eager to climb that ladder, it'll go up on the side of the house. I certainly don't do heights, so, but he's all about it. Overall, I think this area has improved a lot, uh, but give it time and it'll fill in. Hopefully not too much. So we're installing them today. Install day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna, try this out we didn't purchase them and so it's going to be a little bit of a trial and error to figure out how to get them to stay on the rail so that we don't lose them but got lots of plants I can't wait to start planting those getting those in the, the boxes he's not giving himself enough credit he made these out of scrap wood the only thing we had to buy was one piece of board that we cut into or we had to cut into what one foot sections mm -hmm. and then he made those in a couple hours last night so Impressed. A little DIY magic. <laughs> <laughs> show, them, show them these. These aren't they gorgeous? Can't wait. I'll go with Porto Luca. Porto Laca. Mm. I'm sure y'all will tell us what it is. <laughs> yeah. And these are dianthesis, I believe. Yep. Yep. And I love these. They kind of remind me of pencil shaving flowers. Don't they look like pencil shavings? <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. Ready to get going. The idea is that we can put this strapping around it to hold them up temporarily so that we can get the screws in and then the braces underneath. 
Um, we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> this is the first time doing this. Because um, they see. also weigh a little bit more than we thought they would. <laughs> yeah. Now, a long piece of webbing. Oh boy, I can't hold this right. <laughs> <laughs> you got muscles, don't you? Feel the burn, feel the burn. Oh, I feel the burn. I can't. Thank you for a hurry. That's pretty close. I think that's pretty close. Do you think that's equal Like, I want to hold them up into place and then get a little bit more of a drill into the actual and then put the screws in that way. Does that okay. work? Feel the burn. Yeah. And then we're also going to use these underneath because you're probably already thinking that's not going to stay on there without anything underneath. Don't worry. <laughs> ah! It's danger. <laughs> One down, two to go. Quick update on this one. We forgot to paint the back of it, and that's what's going to be visible if you're sitting on the porch looking at the flowers, so can't let that go unnoticed. So, that's painting that up before we put it on there real quick. Last but not least, oh. number three. For those of you who don't know, this is a really hot up box. Take a look. Oop, oh, don't drop it. Whoa. Finishing up now. Yeah. <laughs> We've been busy with little worker bees. Gotten in our window boxes that we built. Um, 
kind of stuffed them full of plants, <laughs> as you can see. Um, but we're excited to see how all of this comes together once it gets a little bit warmer. What's the word? The word is we have been busy and we want to relax for a bit. So we're checking that off the to-do list next and yeah. and just sit on the porch and not do any work at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we got to take so. time to relax and um, and see what we've been doing, like uh, and just enjoy it. Because if we're not taking time to do that, then what's the point, right? Exactly. <laughs> we're happy to have you guys along the way, and um, hopefully we'll have some more exciting stuff to come. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget to click subscribe and comment below. We're always eager to hear your comments. So um, we appreciate all the comments on the previous one about the scorpion. <laughs> so hopefully we didn't scare you, but. Hey, we do live in the mountains, so we're learning to live with the, with all the critters and creatures that are all around here too. So, <laughs> so. one big happy family, right? Exactly. <laughs> all right, cheers, y'all. <laughs>